We're gonna grab our nice products we got at the Asian market. This rice seasoning, any flavor, a good quality sesame oil, and then also silver swan soy sauce, a good quality soy sauce. We're fortunate enough to have tuna that my husband caught in Mexico. This is yellowfin tuna. So get some nice quality fish, uh, yellowfin, bluefin, ahi. Uh, Costco gets those in really well. I'm gonna trim that down, take all the white fibrous parts off, adding it to the bowl with some lime, the green onion, the garlic, and the jalapeno. I'm gonna put probably about a quarter cup of the soy sauce. I don't really measure it, but I'd say start with about a quarter cup. Pour that in, and then you're gonna add the nice sesame oil. That I probably put about an eighth of a cup. So toss that in. It's gonna stir really well, so you'll be able to taste it afterwards. The red pepper flakes we're gonna add, depending on how hot you like it, we like it a little spicy, so add those in. And then that rice seasoning, it comes in different flavors. I haven't really found one that I don't like. So just check them out at the store, see which one sounds good to you. Nice generous shake of those. And then to add the salt, you can do this Himalayan sea salt. I really like that. Hawaiian sea salt is great. You can get that at the Asian markets. I was just out of that. Or some kosher salt, just a little sprinkling of that. Add in your sesame seeds. We've got white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. It gives it a nice texture, a little crunch to it, and then it also gives it a nice color variation with the black and the white sesame seeds. So just sprinkle just a few on top. It's gonna take a bit to stir, and you really want the soy sauce to coat every piece of the fish. So if you're finding that it's not, then you're gonna add some more soy sauce to it. So it should be a nice dark color. Stir really well to make sure it's fully coated. I like to add avocado, but I didn't have any. So if you have avocado, here's where you wanna add it. We're gonna transfer this to a Tupperware and put it in the refrigerator. It's gotta marinate at least two hours sitting in there. I flip it over a few times. It's not something you can eat right away, so make sure you make it ahead of time, like I did in the morning wearing my pajamas, so we can eat it at dinner. Here is your finished product. I saute up whatever veggies I have, serve it on the side over some rice. Grab my chopsticks, maybe a little cup of sake, and enjoy Hawaiian pokey.